All right, hey everybody, Mayo here, and today I'm gonna be going over, you know, some more of these battle spot raiding battle double battles. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next match that I have lined up to see if I actually succeeded in one or if I got destroyed, which is probably more than likely what happened. And there goes the Mega Kangaskhan and Meowstic lead that I normally always use because I don't know. I don't know, I just do. I just like going into my Mega Kangaskhan as soon as possible and getting it as much plus attack as quickly as I can. And I decide to go for a fake out on that thing. What is it? Lati Latios? Latios? One, one of the two? I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. I really don't. And then he flinches, can't move, stealth rocks come out. I'm guessing it'd be Latios because it's blue. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. He goes in for the protect. Alright, he's protected. I already have safeguard up, so I'm gonna start giving some swaggers to my Mega Kangaskhan. Get his attack boosted up, and then I go for a power up punch on that thing, but he's already protected. There's an earthquake. Which I believe does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, quite a bit. I tried to Thunder Wave. I don't know who I tried to Thunder Wave, but whoever I tried to Thunder Wave, it was a dumb idea. And then there's a Draco Meter, and that's gonna take out my Mega Kangaskhan, and he was pretty much non existent besides a fake out. Which I believe did a decent chunk, but still. Pretty sad. When my Mega Kangaskhan is pretty much non-existent. Then I go into Talonflame. And he's got the Stealth Rocks up. So it does a lot of damage. A lot. A lot. And to be honest, my mind was like, oh, Stealth Rocks, this thing's flying. Will, will it hurt me? I don't know. Because, I mean, the Levitate on the, the Latios didn't get affected by earth, Earthquake. But it was I don't know why I thought that. It was just dumb. So I go ahead... And let's see, Flare Blitz, the the Mammo Swine, I believe that thing is called, and I'm pretty sure it kills me. But I also Thunder Waved the the dude with the Bullet Punch, Scizor. I don't know if he has it, but I know he can have it, so I was pretty worried about that. And then you know my Focus Sash on Gengar's useless now, which kind of sucks because those rocks. It's kind of a pain in my butt. So, uh, I go for a quick guard because, you know, scared of the, the bullet punch and stuff. And then I just decide, I'm just going to shadow ball this mammal swine and see what happens. Oh, look, I took him out. Awesome. I was like, oh, awesome. That thing was paralyzed. It couldn't move. Yes. So I was pretty happy about that. He go ahead and protects. And like I said, I go for a quick guard just because I'm like, I don't want to get bullet punched. I go for the shadow ball and the thing that protected doesn't work. Then bug bite comes out and I'm like, no, I should have possibly maybe swaggered the mega scissor because then maybe he would have got confused and hurt himself, which would have been awesome. And then go for that uh, Shadow Ball, because I know he's not going to be able to protect again. At least most likely not be able to. Think Faints. Really wishing I had my Focus Sash right now. Because that thing goes for a Swords Dance. Which, I'm like, okay, then there's Sylveon. He's going to Bullet Punch me, and I don't have my Focus Sash. I'm dead. I could have took out the... Sylveon if I had my focus sash, but I still would have lost because then he would have yeah I just did a couple of stupid things Cost me to the game made me lose. Oh, well Some Mistakes were made. I Let my Kangaskhan be pretty much non-existent Which kind of sucks because I could have got a couple of sucker punches off and possibly won the game if I did something like that all right, so let's go ahead and get into the next one. And this guy brought a meow stick. I didn't bring my meow stick this time. What the heck? What did I start with? 
Man, I don't remember. Man, I was I was so tired when I was playing these games. All right, all right. So I went with Gengar and Scrafty. Okay. There's the Intimidate. It's not gonna really do much against those two. He goes for the fake out on my Scrafty. Whatever, because I can sludge bomb that thing. Super effective, not enough to take it out in one hit. He goes for the Hyper Voice. I must have went for something on Scrafty. I should have withdrew, because that's super effective on Scrafty. But not very effective on my Gengar. And then I'm like, okay, whatever. Time to send out my Mega, get him going. Get him rolling. I kind of remember this now. Kind of, a little bit. I remember being like, oh, crap. Scrafty was non-existent, just like Mega Kangaskhan last game. Let's... See if we can make Mega Kangaskhan pretty existent. Go for a fake out on the Meow Stick. Figure I don't want him doing anything. Whatever. It's a crit. Hits two times. Gengar goes for that Sludge Bomb because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that'll take it out. No problem. Which it does. Like I was like 99.9 .9 repeating percent sure that that would take it out. So there's an Intimidate by that Salamance. Kind of sucks. Wasn't sure what to do here. I remember not knowing what I should do. And let's see, what could I have done? What did I do, but what could I have done? Alright, something used protect. Salamence used protect, alright. He protected. He used safeguard. I used Sucker Punch, didn't do anything, then I used Shadow Ball on, I believe, Meow Stick. It had to be Meow Stick, yep. She takes it out. So, let's see. I guess, you know, that was fine, that was fine, that was okay. I used Sucker Punch on that Salamence. It's a crit. Does decent damage. I don't think I realized it was a crit when I was playing, to be honest. I was like, whoa, because I remember being like, whoa, that did a lot of damage. But I don't remember it being a crit when I was playing. So, you know, that rock slide takes me out. Then I'm like, okay, he's he's rock type now, right? Uh, rock is weak against, I don't know, fighting? So I went for a power-up punch, I think. No, no, I didn't. What did I do? Because I sent out a zoom rule. I still had a zoom rule. I went for a sucker punch, but it failed. Zoomerill goes for the Aqua Jet because that thing was Rock type. Super effective. Goes for a Gunk Shot, which makes him Poison type, and Poison super effective against Fairy. So it's gonna do. It's gonna take out my Zoomerill. He's just gone. Sucks to be him. What did I do here? There's a Dragon Dance. Speed Rose, you know, he's, he's all super good and ready to go, and I went for a Sucker Punch on the on the Salamance, okay. And I remember being shocked that that didn't do more damage, so yeah, I definitely did not see the first Sucker Punch be a crit. And I just played pretty poorly, to be honest, in that match, at least I think I did poorly. I could have done better, should have done better, but I didn't, so congrats to my opponent for winning. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And goodbye, friends.